In this presentation, you will learn about bureaucracy as explained by Max Weber. Weber's focus on rationalization led him to the study of operations and expansion of large-scale organizations in public and private sectors of modern society. Bureaucracy can be considered to be a particular case of rationalization or rationalization applied to human organization. Bureaucratic coordination of human action, Weber believed, is the distinctive mark of modern social structures. Weber's sociological interest in the structures of authority was motivated by his political interests. His analysis of authority structures was consistent with his assumptions about the nature of action. Weber was mainly interested in legitimate forms of domination which he called authority. The three bases on which authority is made legitimate to followers is the rational, traditional and charismatic. What interested Weber was bureaucracy, which Weber considered as the purest form of rational legal authority. Bureaucracy was defined in its ideal type by these characteristics. Official business is conducted on a continuous basis. Business is conducted in accordance with stipulated rules. Every official's responsibility and authority are part of a hierarchy of authority. Officials do not own the resources necessary for them to perform their assigned functions, but are accountable for the use of those resources. Offices cannot be appropriated by their incumbents. It always remains a part of the organization. Official business is conducted on the basis of written documents. Bureaucracy in Weber's analysis fits the spirit of rational capitalism. A capitalist market economy demanded that the official business of administration should be precisely discharged without ambiguity and should be continuous and discharged with maximum speed. He pointed out that bureaucracy promotes a rationalist way of life. He described bureaucracies as escape-proof and the hardest to destroy once they were established. The ideal typical bureaucracy is an exaggeration of the rational characteristics of bureaucracies. He distinguished ideal typical bureaucracy from ideal typical bureaucrat. He conceived of bureaucracies as structures and of bureaucrats as positions within those structures. Among the most important factors contributing to the development of modern bureaucracy, the development of money economy that guaranteed a constant income for maintaining bureaucracy through a stable system of taxation, the quantitative development of administrative tasks, qualitative changes of administrative tasks, the superiority of bureaucracy over any other form of organization, the complicated and specialized nature of modern culture that demands the personally detached and strictly objective expert, the rational interpretation of law, the concentration of material means of management in the hands of the industrialists and the public organizations as the state or army, the leveling of economic and social differences, and the rise of modern mass representative democracy. Increasing bureaucratization and rationalization of the modern Western economies was inevitable and inescapable. Bureaucratization would ultimately lead to depersonalization of human relations in government and industry. I hope you now have a better understanding of the concept of bureaucracy. Thank you for watching the presentation. Do like, subscribe, share and leave your comments about this presentation or any other topics you would like to learn more about.